Bruce here. So this belongs to my neighbor. Last year he brought it to me, or it might even be two years ago, and it was all in pieces. And I sent him back to the farm that he got it from, and he brought most of the pieces with him. So I managed to get it put together. Looking back on my video now, I actually think I put the put the choke cable, the choke bracket on backwards, but he didn't seem to have any complaints on it. But now he says he's hit He's hit a stump. I'm going to just tilt it backwards for now. And we're going to look at the blade. Oh, these are heavy old girls. Oh, he bent the blade. Let's just disconnect the spark plug. Right. Okay, let's just... Should I take that blade off of there right now? Because it's not going back on, right? Let's do that. I wonder... Oh, yes. I wonder... I can use this scrawny little quarter inch line hey, to run the to run this. This is the quarter inch line I'm talking about. Oop, not the gun, the line. The line. We'll see if we can get that off there. You know why I put it on. Huh? Ah, there we go. I'm almost tempted to do one more. One more tape across that. Uh, right about there. A little bit higher. That'll do. I'm gonna do it. You guys know me now. I can't line your guys' eye up to that. Hello, Al. But it's, it's, uh, it's good. So now we'll just blow the rest of this stuff away. So that worked, by the way. All right, all my friend. It's a three quarter inch to get that nut off of there. And then we'll find out if the shear pin has been severed. I have, the, the plug is disconnected. I gotta start taking just a little bit care of the old fella here. And now we're gonna take the top off this flywheel to see if this see if it's sheared. I'm gonna instead of rolling up, I've been having some fun here. I've been testing the values and the how much pressure I lose. Flexible hoses, and most of the time I can get away with it. Wrong, wrong one. You ready? Beauty. Ah! So we find out right now how bad this is. Now he told me that he tried to start it, did everything he knew how to do, and you know the average guy knows quite a bit, right? Where is it? Hmm. Well, right now I'm not seeing much. So we don't have a spark plug in there. What? We have a spark plug. So now we're going to turn the engine over to see if we have a spark. We're going to use a drill on a three quarter inch socket. Three quarter there. Eh? This is way up there. So now we should have clearance on the coil. The bar is turned on up there. We don't have a spark plug in, so it should spin over. I guess we should check and see if we have any oil in this thing. Hugh just uses his stuff. Yeah, he's got, he's got more than we need. We'll just leave that for now. Let's just see if we have a spark. 
too grown. Absolutely. All right. So the next thing is is to check the fuel. I'm getting there, guys. We're gonna get Hughes lawnmower running. I'm tempted to take this tank off and just dump the gas out. That's okay. Remember, it's a beater. Good. So now, do I get this thing running without the hood? I'll be right back. I'm going to clean this spark plug. You guys know I'm all about cleaning plugs. And we're going to put the spark plug in while we have the cover off this engine. Much easier to do. And on these 5 8 plugs, this is an RJ12YC plug. I, uh, on some of them I cu cut down the edge of the socket there just to give us a little more room inside there. These are long plugs, eh? Okay, by all by all account we should have a running a running lawnmower. Good. So that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. Plugs in and tight. We have gas in the carburetor. So now I'm going to try and give it a start. You know, scary, huh? I'm going to shorten my stick a little bit here. And we can turn it off up here. It's going to smoke a little bit because it's been abused, used and abused. The blade's on tight. And we have not changed the oil yet. So let's just see if she has a go in her. Uh, three quarters, three quarters. Should have some compression now. It should start because it's got an automatic choke and the choke is closed. Okay, well that's a pretty good first run. I want to look at the choke linkage because I remember last year I just took a wild, a, a wild guess as to how the choke went together and I think I got it wrong because I did one this year and got it right. So now 10 millimeter, that goes back up there, 10, silly monkey, and we're going to just have a look inside the choke. Uh -huh. Look at the dirt in there. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. That's as far as I can go on that one. Good. Now I'm going to take this off and put it on the right way if I can remember how to do that. That's a tricky little guy. It works, but not great, right? And it's a little sticky. So let's just 
work on that. I'll be right back, guys. All right, let's get you in here. I'm going to take this off. I'll take the back one off first. Oh, that's a little too small. And we're just going to uh, change this lever to what I think it should be. So I almost got it right on this one. There we go. That comes off of there like that. All the way out and around and back. And it goes on here like that. So this goes underneath like that. I know it's not say. Eh? And then that comes up and around like that. And then we put it on our choke shaft. Like, if we can. There we go. And that's the only difference. I think it does the same thing. Let's just screw this back down again. And see. So either side, either way it was working, right? It was a subscriber that twigged me onto this mistake. Not mistake, because it worked, but. It opens better. Okay, so we're going to leave that connected. That goes in there like that. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, let's do a tiny bit of lubrication. Right on the choke throttle lever. Uh, throttle foam. There's a piece of foam down there where the throttle sticks out. It's much more active. Good. I think my buddy Hugh is going to be happy. Good. Is that on? Yep. Great. Great, fantastic. We're going to give him a new air filter. Although, what's it going to look like if I blow this other one out of here? It's bad. Can't use that air filter. So let's just... Okay, safety first. There we are. Tisn't that beautiful. I'm just going to go outside and blow this off and come right back. All right, so this is remounted. I've cleaned the hood. Yes, these break here, and I'm using two screws, two self-tapping screws to hold this on here. It's not the end of the world, right? This is a $40 lawnmower, guys. This is what you do. You fix your neighbor's lawnmower for free or for $40. But there's one more thing we have to check, absolutely have to check. And it is... How much fluff roux is in the drive? It had gone the wrong way. I bet you she's just plugged. Ah! Oh boy. I think I'm going to 
I'm going to take that outside and blow it off. Did you guys want to come with me? I'm going to blow you guys off here. Come with me. You guys are on this one. The lawnmower's on this one. So as soon as we got that bent blade off of there, we're basically doing a tune-up, right? My friend Klaus from Denmark, he uh, doesn't have a, a back alley like this. It's very traditional in Canada to have a back alley. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got underneath here. Good. All right. Just about ready to put this bad boy completely back together and take the oil out. That's all we got left to do is change the oil. Come with me, guys. I'm gonna turn you off now. All right. Slip down. Way down. And I'm just doing this because this has a broken air filter cover. And I would imagine the air cover is probably worth more than the lawnmower. So let's just go over to the little computer that could and have a look. K-O-H-L-E-R lower air F-I-L-T-E-R. That's how it's done, guys. We'll make it a big screen. Polar more, and there's the air filter. There it is. $39.99. Right? That's it. That you guys can you see that right there? Right there, that just the cover. $39.99 and the air filter's $14. So you gotta really watch it, you know. I wonder if they'll sell a whole assembly in here. Uh, from Wing Wang. Nope. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going fast. I know what I'm looking for. No, nope, it's not there. So that's why sometimes you have to you have to jerry rig stuff. Don't have to. There's a choice. My choice is to not spend the money. So now we've got a working coil, we've got a working lawnmower, we've got a working choke. Let's put our hood on. Let's just put this happy little cute little hood on here. And our cover. Gas cover off. On. Rewind. Right. And uh, this. This is all we have here. So, we're going to use our 10 millimeter wrench, not the 916. You can tell this is like an old Dodge. Eh? You've got 10 millimeters on one side and 5 millimeters on the other. Who's going last? Those are the fifth, five, sixteenths one. Yep. And then down there, right down in here, there's two five sixteenths guys. Now, functional test. Let's back up. Bring it over to about half height. I'm just going to look underneath to see if there's an oil drain. There is no oil drain. So we'll either use my pump. We'll either use my pump or we'll use the, uh, we'll just tilt it on its side. Pay attention. It's a big deal. Get you off the 
light of the big wall. get our candles and pieces down here. And this box is just busting at the seams right now. It's not good. It's not good. There we go. Okay, come with me right here. So my my buddy Hugh there, he uh he did. He did. It, he did a rig, and it did, and it worked, right? I'm not going to comment. He kept this old lawnmower on the road for another year, right? When I change the oil in it, it'll be good for another year. Whoop, let's just lift this up. I know the cables look rough, eh? cable has a little bit of a kink in it right but I think we can just leave that he's he's got his own rig here for uh, for driving it so now I'm just gonna uh, suck the oil out of this bad boy right over here oh no we're gonna I decided to dump it it's the uh, physically the easiest thing to do engines are only 140 to 149 cc's. They're huge, right? Doesn't matter how much oil comes out of here, it's going to get Next time you see this, I will have it upright and I'll have 500 milliliters of oil in it. Well, I guess I could dump that in for you. There. Came in with a bent blade. Right? Oh, shoot. Well, Jim, I thought I hadn't spilt any oil. Here I was in a hurry to get the uh, blade for the demo. There we go. So this blade was a boomerang, right? And I thought the flywheel key or a, a gear inside the engine would have gone. But it didn't.
Thanks, guys.